Good afternoon. This is Universal News Media. Today is April 8, 2018. Some viewers may recall that on March 24th, a very large, close asteroid was viewed from the southwest facing weather cam located at the military base just outside Anchorage. At first, I thought it was a one time pass by, but I saw it again the next day, March 25th, at approximately the same time of day, around 4 o'clock p.m. After that, the chemtrailing picked up and I couldn't see the asteroid again until April 1. Six days later, I was able to monitor the asteroid again on April 7th. Chemtrailing has since been too heavy, but I have four days of comparison over a two-week span of time, and that is enough to provide four similar trajectory paths and four different elevations of the asteroid. For anyone who doesn't like the Bible, please turn the channel now rather than leaving a nasty comment. I'm going to read two verses because I'm going to show where this object is described in the book of Revelations. Revelation chapter 8 verse 10 and 11 King James Version And the third angel sounded and there fell a great star from heaven burning as it were a lamp and it fell upon a third part of the rivers and upon the fountains and of water and the name of the star is called wormwood and the third of the waters became wormwood and many men died of the waters because they were made bitter I'm going to show you with trajectory paths and elevation comparisons over a period of two weeks why I believe that this is the prophetic burning star just described in the Bible passage here is the asteroid on March 24th as it passed by the weather cam in the late afternoon. It is a gigantic rock tumbling through the sky. It comes by each afternoon at about the same time within minutes, which means that it is probably in a medium Earth orbit for now anyway. And for an object to maintain medium Earth orbit, it must be at least 1,243 miles away. So the fact that we can see this tumbling rock so clearly in our sky suggests that it must be very large. Here is what it looked like yesterday, April 7th. The chemtrailing makes it more difficult to see, but I was still able to find this tumbling asteroid in each frame and I placed a dot in the center of the asteroid on each frame, which is 10 minutes. After placing the dots on the asteroid's path every frame, I was able then to draw a line through the dots, defining its path and its rel relative elevation decline over a period of two weeks. I'll be showing those trajectory paths in just a minute. I was also able to get a rough idea of the, of the direction it is traveling, which I'll show in a moment also. We can get a rough idea of the direction this asteroid is traveling around the Earth. We know that the camera is facing southwest at 230 degrees because of this directional map provided by the FAA for this particular weather cam. Knowing that the camera was pointing southwest 230 degrees and viewing the rough trajectory path from the weather cam images, it looked to be traveling in the direction of the yellow arrow on this picture. So basically from the perspective of Anchorage, Alaska, it appeared to be traveling from the northwest and going southeast around the globe. Here is the path that the asteroid took two weeks ago on March 24th. I'm not going to bother showing the March 25th line because it's so close to this one. Here is its path eight days later on April 1st. And this is what the path looked like yesterday, six days later, on April 7th. This chart shows the March 24th path in red, the April 1st path in green, and the April 7th path in black. 
and as you can see it appears to be getting lower to the horizon with each pass around the earth I'm not an astronomer so possibly there is another reason why its path appears to be getting lower in the sky as time goes by I'm only giving you my observation and how I relate this to Bible prophecy I believe this asteroid came from the celestial system that we've been seeing parts of lately many people ask when the system will make its closest pass to our earth a general indication of time is provided in the following screens of text please don't forget to like this video and subscribe